Kingdom Hearts 4 is upon the horizon, but there's still a mystery that even the most devout of Kingdom Hearts fans have failed to answer. Who is the Master of Masters? This is the biggest mystery that fans have been pondering since its introduction 10 years ago. And yes, I checked, it was 10 years ago. <laughs> he will be taking center stage as the main antagonist of the series who has literally been playing 5D chess this entire time, manipulating all of the events up to Melody of Memory. And yet, very little is known about this guy is what Nomura wants you to think. You'll want to sit down for this, because not only has the answer been dangling in front of our faces since Kingdom Hearts 1, but we've also been lied to about what Kingdom Hearts actually is. Spoiler alert, it's not a moon. Let's not waste any time, shall we? Now this isn't your basic theory. Demix's mom? Basic. Sora reincarnated or Sora from the future? What are you smoking? And where can I get some? To get started, we have to ask ourselves, what do we know about good old mom? Well, he's just a silly, goofy man that hung around some Keyblade wielders and then fucked off and disappeared after telling them that their whole life is a big game of Among Us. My father did something similar. It's kind of like he's orbiting around the Realm of Light while he watches the World Order get neglected more than Kairi's character development. You can be mad at the joke, but that just means you're mad at the truth. <laughs> he even goes as far as shutting himself off in Quadratum until it's time to commence his plan. Most interestingly is that he communes with the darkness but covets the light, to a point that he is willing to sacrifice others in order to vanquish the darkness. Oh, and his name might be Theodore or Jack. Now who among the existing cast matches these traits? We can actually eliminate most of the cast since most of their backstories have been confirmed in canon. It's not Demix because the Kingdom Hearts character files allude to his origins being in Missing Link. And it's not a time-traveling Sora because again, I don't know what you've been smoking, but I have a suggestion for you. Therapy. There's actually very few contenders for whose mom is it anyway, but there's one key factor that we have to consider. Kingdom Hearts. You know, that door, I mean yellow moon, I mean blue moon. No, 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 I meant yellow moon. Who among the cast has a particular interest in that bright yellow moon? Is not the question you should be asking. But you just said shut up! Let me cook. The Master of Masters only mentions Kingdom Hearts once in the case of Era, and it's very dismissive. He merely acknowledges that Kingdom Hearts exists, and he doesn't even refer to it as a moon. In fact, no one refers to Kingdom Hearts as a moon in the entire series. Saix only has the one-liners in his battle dialogue, and even then he's referring to a fake moon. So what is Kingdom Hearts? Well, it's the heart of all worlds or the heart of all planets, specifically the hearts of the seven worlds outside of Earth or whatever the Kingdom Hearts equivalent is. The worlds we visit throughout the series used to be one entity, and that entity was protected by the light of Kingdom Hearts. That light now continues to protect the fractured remnants of this one entity. Yet, since darkness can burgeon in the hearts of people, the same should be true for the hearts of worlds. And if the darkness of these celestial bodies were collected and made into a weapon, that weapon could purge all the worlds. Oh my god, he's cooking! Now this sounds like a crackpot theory, and I get it, there's plenty of them out there, and all of them are pretty fun. But consider that the worlds we visit are all connected through special pathways that we have to travel through space to get to. Plus, it's not a stretch to believe that the rock floating out in the lanes between are actually pieces of debris from when Earth split apart. But what does any of this have to do with Teddy Jack if he doesn't have an interest in Kingdom Hearts? Oh, you sweet summer child. Have you forgotten the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts 3? He does have an interest in Kingdom Hearts. He clearly doesn't care about protecting the light, but the way he frames his hands in the secret ending almost looks like he covets it. Maybe he's fantasizing about it. Final fantasizing? Yeah, yeah. This is how I choose to spend my free time. That's a hard pill to swallow. This adds the final clue to reveal who the Master of Masters is. Someone who isn't afraid of the darkness. Someone who watches from afar but kinda gently nudges things along. Someone who covets the light. The Master of Masters is... Pluto. He's only ever seen pushing the plot along, nudging the characters in the right direction, and this is seen as early as Kingdom Hearts 1! And we've seen him go through dark corridors and disappear for no reason! But you see, this dog is merely an immortal vessel crafted from the dwarf satellite itself! 
Yes, I am saying that the true enemy of Kingdom Hearts is the disgraced celestial body, Pluto! It hangs in the pure darkness of space, allowing it to traverse through dark corridors. Its status as a planet has caused war after war, leaving its name drifting between reality and fiction, making it a bridge between the two realms. It is angry that it was cast asunder while it watches an undeserving, fractured world bathe in the light. Its hunger for the light, its lust for recognition, fuels its avarice and anger toward the other celestial bodies. Its wrath beckons it out of its slothful drift to purge the light from the other worlds so that its glorious surface may be the only one worthy of the light. For thy name be Superior Pluto Teddy Jack! <laughs> Uh, I should get diagnosed.